Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I am on my way down to my cousin's wedding, and that's in Florida. I'm in Pennsylvania right now, which is why it looks kind of cold out here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, I drive sports cars, a lot of sports cars. And since I don't have the rest of my family with me, I kind of want to get in a two-seater. And I found one. I found a really, really cool two-seater that I did not expect to find, and I found it for cheap. So I just land it, going outside to see the ride right now. Went in for it. I had to. It was available for too good of a deal. I'm really excited to, uh, uh, to drive this thing because I mean I want to know if it lives up to its previous generation and up in the Northeast there might be like one in fact I've only seen one in person now so now this one I get to experience that's right guys we rented a 2020 Toyota Supra for hundred and sixty seven dollars a day I can tell you guys right now that the front of it <laughs> it's the video and pictures don't do this thing justice like look at this thing it looks kind of weird but in person it, it looks like an older supra like it looks like the the mark IV. um and i i, I can't say i'm in love with the rear the rear on the other hand it's kind of like meh I, I don't think i i don't i don't like the wing thing if the wing was flat i think i'd like it more but yeah well let's get inside so he gave me the fob basically he was like hey you want to hang out if you do give me a call which is awesome love this Quan. Quan's my my new buddy so it's got JBL speakers all that stuff and push start Ooh, it does sound like an old Supra or a BMW for those of you who are paying attention Quan left me a bottle of water this guy's awesome like seriously and the car is so clean look at this it's it, it's brand new like it only has like 4,000 miles to get into gear I had some trouble with this. I was like what the f is going on? Why won't it go into gear? It's in park Well, if you look here when I do this, it's like press the in to engage gear press the unlock button There's an unlock button. You see it says unlock. So you do that Forward now. I'm in reverse Now we can do this and I can get on with what I'm doing. Look at this. We got fanciness basically telling you which way your wheels going and proximity to things so the front is kind of big so it tells you how far you have in the front as well so that's smart because the Supras definitely have a big nose and now I'm off to my uh, destination which is the hotel like an hour away so it should be a fun ride I, I'm excited to see the performance here the car does drive really really nice um, it is very comfortable. I've got loads of lumbar support here that I'm hoping that I can adjust because I haven't even tried to adjust the seat. Uh, let's see. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. There's like... Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my... Well, what? Seat like... Oh, my God. The bolsters. The bolsters go in and out. Like, bolsters are hugging me. It just lets me know how fat I am because I can't go in all the way. But... Let's see, so if I go forward there, that's the lower, yeah, that's lower back, yeah, that's cool. You can get these seats, like, anyway, although, you know what, the one thing that I hate about these seats is the headrest. Like, it's it's back just a hair too far. I want my head to kind of be supported. I know that a lot of you aren't like that. A lot of you are like, no, I don't want the headrest to touch my head. Well, it's supposed to touch your head. Like, it's supposed to be there, so if you get hit, it's not banging your head that it's already supported, but... Yeah. I mean, that just means that my neck has to do all this work. Continue on Florida 404 for seven miles. Seven miles? It's okay. She's quick. She's definitely quick. So being a very high performance shop with uh, cars that put down like an obscene amount of power, I am most certainly used to a lot more. It feels solid and torquey and all that fun stuff all the way through. So I, you know, I like it. I think that it's it's good for the majority of people out there that in terms of power potential. Now me, I'd be souping this up. This, this bitch would need to make another like 300 horsepower uh, to be my daily driver. 
at least eh, maybe 200 horsepower. It's still very comfortable. I've been driving for like an hour now, and honestly, my my back and all that fun stuff seems fine. The heated seats are working nice. They're not like burning my ass. It's like a comfortable heat that sometimes you like, for example, in the BMW, it'll burn your ass off. It'll just be like, you'll be sweating and all that stuff. I'm in Florida right now, and I'm nice. It's, it seems to have good climate control. It seems to handle well. Oh, I didn't put it in sport mode. I wonder if sport will have any crisper shifts. Oh, it downshifted. I don't know if you guys heard it, but the exhaust definitely got louder. if you guys heard that but I will tell you one of two things well two things uh, that the first one being that that shift is insanely faster and number two uh, if you have one window open you get some weird f***ing reverberation like it was like blah, 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 blah. It was nuts so shift point that's crazy oh, do you hear the burble we're on a, on a highway that's the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. It tells you that it's 70 miles per hour, which is really cool. Um, but it does have adaptive cruise control, so I can bump that buddy up to 100 miles per hour. Look at that. It says that we should be going 100 miles per hour in cruise control, but because there's a big ass truck in the way, it's not. I also figured out how to put the, uh, the lane steering on. This is crazy. Like, the steering will like turn itself as we're going off the road. Look at that. Beep. I'm not touching that thing. It just idiot it driving itself. This super is just look at this. Bloop. Uh oh, take over. So I was talking to Quan and he literally told me that this car for some reason doesn't get rented off and I don't understand why. It for $167 a day, this thing's like cheap as shit and it's got all these bells and whistles like like lane departure, collision alert, like all the stuff. Now I I Gotta admit, I'm not a super guy. I'm not. I'm not a Toyota guy. I'm obviously you guys know that I'm a GM guy, but there's a lot of cool features on this car that I really hope that the C8 can live up to because the C7 sure as hell doesn't. Like this Supra at fifty-six thousand dollars gets nav, wireless charging, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, all sorts of stuff. Oh shit! I think there's an imposter coming up. Oh, it's like a Toyota buddy. Is it a BRZ? It's a fucking BRZ. Do you think? Should we race him? What do you think? Do you think we should race him? Look at him, he's like creeping. He's a creeper. It does look like a BRZ. It's like a more aggressive BRZ. I hate saying it, but yeah, it definitely is like a, a more aggressive BRZ. So that's my initial impression of the 2020 Toyota Supra. Um, coming up on the channel, I do go into a little bit more detail. I did find a bunch of dislikes for it. Um, so I'm going to go over my likes and dislikes about the car. Uh, there's definitely some weird stuff that I wasn't really expecting. There it is. What the f*** is that? Should I raise him? Okay, now hit sport mode. 